is doing what you say you'll do. And what makes a man of God is not as close. What makes you a man of God, what makes you cool is not how you color your hair. What makes you a man of God is not how smart you speak. What makes you a man of God is your integrity. It's your honor. It's what you do in public and also what you do alone. That they're one and the same. And I'm telling you right now, Malaysia needs men of integrity. So say integrity. I want you to have a passion for integrity. Say passion. passion. Say integrity. integrity. Say passion for integrity. Passion for integrity. This is what I want us to be passionate about. You know where passion comes from? The word passion comes from the Latin word passere, which means to suffer. As in dying as a martyr for Jesus Christ. The word passion comes from the death of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the original definition of where we get the word passion. And I tell people, if you don't have a passion worth dying for, you don't have a life worth living for. What was Jesus, what was God so passionate about that he was willing to suffer and die a death on a cross? You know what God's passion is? You are God's passion. You are God's passion. You are God's passion. The Bible says we love God because He first loved us. You want a passion for Jesus? Who wants a passion for Jesus? Well, let me tell you something. Your passion for Jesus does not come from how passionate you are for Him. If you want a passion for Jesus, you got to understand His passion for you. And the more you understand His passion for you, the more you will have a passion for Him. And once you have a passion for Jesus Christ, everything you do becomes passion. Whether you dance, whether you act, whether you sing, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, or a businessman, whether you're in politics, whether you serve inside a local church, when you have a passion for Jesus Christ, you do everything with passion and for the passion of Christ. So I'm here to tell you tonight, if you want passion, it starts with Jesus. And when you find Jesus, you find a purpose and a passion to everything you do. Everything now has a purpose. Nothing is just finite, everything is eternal. So who wants a passion tonight? From the front to the back, who wants passion? You want passion? Then you gotta ask for it. You gotta suffer for it. You got experiences. And passion is not easy. Passion will cost you. Tonight we're going to do this. Hands up. When the course.